Hey folks, just know how small my apartment is. I'm at my desk. That is my wife's desk. And this is your quick step for this week. So I was preparing a script for going to the YouTube space this Saturday, getting ready for May Day and my May Day video talking about the history of organized labor. And what do you know, but West Virginia, the teachers union decided to go on a massive statewide strike. And man, has it led to some exciting developments. So let's give a little bit of a backstory. West Virginia, a small, very rural state that was made basically by being the part of Virginia that decided not to join the Confederacy, is 48th out of 50 for states in the United States pay for their teachers. And last week, ending on, I believe on Tuesday, they went on a nine day strike and they had a lot of the common issues that teachers unions typically have issues with. They have low pay, poor benefits, and they recently had some pretty nasty austerity measures taken to their health insurance system. This included an extremely Orwellian health insurance program that increased your payments to your health insurance unless you wore a Fitbit and were forced to do a certain amount of steps every day. Keep in mind, I'm not against a healthy lifestyle. What I'm saying is that's just a cost cutting measure. That is not a way to improve people's health. The number one form of going bankruptcy in America is lack of health insurance. So making it harder, you're just making the problem worse. And after nine days, the teachers won. Woo! So I'm guessing you're probably wondering why I'm still talking about it now. Because the West Virginia teachers did get a 5% pay raise, which is nice. But what it's done has been to get the ball rolling on some really awesome developments. Already, Oklahoma, Kentucky, and Arizona are all considering a very similar type of strike. And I think if there's one lesson that we can learn from all of this is this is why organized labor is awesome because not only do you have the power as employees to push for your employer to give you the benefits that you deserve and unfortunately with the way things work if you aren't organized you're not only not going to have your situation improve you're likely going to have the things you do have clawed back from you that's the nature of capitalism and this was a major victory on behalf of the west virginia teachers and these kinds of victories are inspiring other teachers unions in other states. This is amazing. And this is why big action, class-based, organized, labor-based movements are so good for everyone. Because now maybe some states are actually going to increase the pay for teachers under the threat that they might strike, given that they had the victory in West Virginia. So these victories are inspiring people to action. And from what I can also hear is that the victory in West Virginia is already leading to this building into a real movement. There's already pushing for making some more progressive candidates, getting elected in West Virginia and labor movements. Uh, one of the things that was an innovation of the West Virginia teachers strike is that it actually wasn't quote unquote lawful. And the typical, the union that they were working through actually had this extremely obtuse way of trying to describe things. So. One of the things that they did that organized really, really well is they made a secret Facebook group and they started inviting teachers to come in and talk about their grievances. And that is what escalated into this strike. That's a very cool and unique way in order to organize agitation. And I think that that's a model that a lot of people, especially people in anti-union circumstances and in a culture today where we are so overworked that none of us have the free time to spend an evening with the union. Like this is the way, this is how you do it. This is how you organize. It's very exciting. I'm very, very, very excited. And I hope that this is just the beginning of something way bigger. So yeah, teachers, I guess I'm one too, aren't I? Good on you folks. I also want to take a little bit of time to talk about a really cool thing that's happening tonight. Since you're watching this likely on March 12th tonight, my new show premieres. I'm very excited. If you check down in the description or you go to twitch.tv slash dungeon dwellers, as you will see at 7 p.m. Eastern time, 
we are going to have the first episode of my Dungeons and Dragons show called Knights of Dice. For those who are following in the other Twitch show that I'm part of, two people from that are coming over. I'm running the game. And I also will have fellow YouTubers, Cheryl, the roving naturalist, who you might remember from video last Thursday, and Xander, who runs the channel Art Explains, who you might remember we did a collaboration in September of 2016. You might remember the organ transplantation video. If you guys are one of those OG step back viewers from way back in 2016. And trust me, we've already done two sessions off air and we're starting tonight. So the sessions off air have shown that this show is going to be really, really good. So I look forward to seeing you guys all come and show your support. And I would be really excited to see a lot of you people in my uh, who like my stuff see some me do something a little bit more creative than just education. It'd be really fun. And if you have never tried D&D before or you think it might be boring, give give it a little bit. Give it like one one evening, like just start and just see how it goes. Trust me, it's way cooler than you think it is. Anyways, this has been your quick step for this week. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, bell notification, all that fun stuff. You guys stay strong solidarity forever, and I'll see you guys on Thursday where I'm having a St. Patrick's Day video.